Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to Truck Driver, a truck driving simulator that's coming out for Xbox One and PS4 on September 19th, 2019, and comes out a month later on November 19th, 2019 for PC. A big question often for these truck driving simulators that I play is, is it coming to console? Well, there you go. This one is definitely going to be on console very soon. It looks quite promising and, of course, uh, takes place kind of in a fictional world with fictional trucks. And there's a lot of nice little features and doodads and things that make this one different and stand out from the competition. And that's, of course, what we'll have to do as we become the ultimate skilled truck driver here in Truck Driver. It's nice to actually see some more games coming out related to uh, simulators, especially that of trucking. And so, of course, with this coming to console, it makes this one more unique than ever before. I'll be playing today on PC, and I'll be playing with a Logitech G920. Uh, it's a steering wheel that's made for Xbox, but also works for a PC as well. So if you have yourselves a, a PC gaming uh, steering wheel or whatnot, and you want a console game, you can switch that out, or, of course, get the steering wheel as well. A little expensive for the steering wheels, but definitely makes the games much more realistic and more of a simulator than ever before. But, of course, you can always use your keyboard or your steering wheel as well. So let's go ahead and get started. I, pay, I, I believe there's like a tutorial to it. I've given it a little bit of a try, so we'll see exactly what it has to offer. And uh, I also think I've got a shifter here too, so we might be able to see some of the multiplayer, or rather, <laughs> multi-gear action. There we go, as we try to use our manual transmission. So without further ado, let's start a new game and see what it has to offer. Don't run a red light or you'll get fined. Oh boy. There must be all sorts of different features in this game, such as truck damage and uh, tire wear and tear. And so we'll probably end up having to uh, do maintenance on our truck and uh, maintain it as well. All right, looks like we got ourselves a variety of characters to choose from. I guess this guy's got the nicest shirt, so we'll pick him, and uh, we'll see if we can get on the road. Ah, oh, there we are. Instructor, welcome to Truck Driver. Well, thank you. That's very nice of you. Instructor is typing. Oh, let's take a look around the truck. In this short introduction, you'll learn how to control your truck. All right, that's helpful. Oh, it looks nice. Oh, do I really have to? Just humor me, okay? We'll keep it short. All right. First, make sure to start your engine. Yeah, that's going to be an important feature. Let's see exactly how to do that. Press B to open the control wheel and press down. Oh, okay, so it brings up a wheel. And then we can just press down an A. Like that, in order to get it started. There we go. Nice. Great. Now check out the panel on the right for your basic vehicle controls. So steer, accelerate, and brake. Got it. Oh yeah, that, that makes it nice and nice and smooth. So this has been simplified for consoles too, so some of the options. That might explain why the control wheel is there for players who are playing with an actual uh, controller. Alright, so I guess we got to make our way down to the storage depot. So let's make our way there. Let's take a look outside the truck. Oh, that's nice. Looks good, feels good. I can see the map here. I wonder if I press M if it brings up the map. Oh, it sure does. Okay. So it looks like we have what seems to be a made-up world. Um, so this is definitely not based off of any real-life location, but probably is um, actually like simulates real-life location. So it's not like a one-to-one -one scale or anything like that, but it probably takes into account Germany and Britain and other places and tries to create landscapes similar to that. Very nice. All right, the music's a little loud. So uh, maybe I'll adjust that in a little bit. All right, well, it looks like a nice map. Let's get rolling. We're outside the truck now, so it provides us with the mirror view. That's kind of cool. All right. Now, this is an automatic. I'm assuming we can also get manual control. Like it says there, manual gear not available. You're driving an automatic truck chassis. Purchase a manual truck chassis later in the game. I really can't even hear much of my engine, so that's okay. The music is quite nice. All right. So we're almost to, I guess that guy had a yield there, to the depot. And I'm assuming we're going to pick up that trailer there. Good, now park, uh, find the park trailer and attach it to your truck. Okay, that should be rather easy. Let's go ahead and try, uh, oh nice, that's a helpful mode. The overhead view like that. Alright, we'll back this one in as well. So I'm assuming we have to do things such as getting diesel fuel and uh, do regular maintenance. Maybe we can buy some HQs. So far, so good. Let's see if we can... Uh... So the Y key is to attach to the trailer. Let's see if we can get a closer view of our truck. There we go. That's helpful. And we should be good right about there for our connection, right? There we go. 
Nice. Oh, and it matches our truck, too. That's really cool. That's really nice. Well done. Now take the trailer to Westerhaven. Take the trailer to Westerhaven by driving or following the satellite navigation directions. Okay. Let's go ahead and make a couple of changes now. Let's try to uh, turn up the... Uh, I don't, want to, I don't want to change it to French. Uh, let's see here. Let's change the audio. I'm going to bring the music volume down a bit and see if we can hear more of the truck. I want to hear that diesel engine and everything like that. looks like the uh, vehicle volume is at 100, so that's good. All right, let's apply that and go back to the game. I can do all those controls from the steering wheel, so that's really nice. And we are driving again in a uh, with an automatic, so that kind of feels a little awkward since I'm so used to doing it uh, with the actual uh, shifter. So let's listen to the engine here. Seems to be awfully quiet. Now, as for indicators, I don't know what the controls are for that. Typically, I have my steering wheel set up to be my uh, paddles. I'm using a racing wheel, so uh, if I press the paddles, it switches over to the uh, the shifter. So let's go ahead and take a look from outside the truck now. Ooh, careful. All right. Going to take a little getting used to. All right, so I see our fuel gauge on the right side. You can see the gear that we're in, the time, uh, the distance that we have to go, as well as I think the time it'll take to get there. So that's good. I wonder if using the directional... Oh, okay, I used the directional pad for signaling. Okay, I was going to ask if there's a way to look around with the actual steering wheel, but it doesn't seem to be uh, up on screen. So now we can signal, so that's helpful. So right D-pad for right and left D-pad for left. Looks like a little construction zone over there. That's nice. And the nice thing about a, a fictional landscape is that it's uh, you've never been there before, so it's really just completely up to the developer to kind of design a uh, wonderful-looking uh, little landscape or whatnot. I don't know what the speed limit is here. We're doing six, almost 65 kilometers. So it is based off of European landscapes and also uh, road systems. So that's kind of nice. I'm familiar with that from uh, Euro Truck. So it is comparative to that. So that's a nice compliment. And it's good that uh, something is coming to console because a lot of players have been asking for more and more console games. And uh, it is a little bit more affordable than getting a full PC. Um, so if you have a PC, you can easily get this. Otherwise, uh, on console too, with the steering wheel, is really nice. Now I'm going to try to see if we can zip that light. There we go. Oh, there you go. Red light violation at 250, as they said at the uh, at the uh, during the loading screen. So it, it it does work quite well. So it seems like it's uh, not uh, a silly system. If if you go over the line, it'll let you through. So you got to be completely through that light beforehand. Okay. So we'll probably receive money for each job, and then be able to upgrade our truck with all that different cash. We'll probably be able to buy a different truck and get a little bit more powerful engine and tires, and do that type of thing. And this is a cab over which means that it's a, kind of a, like a sleeper cab up above the truck in some cases. You can get extended versions and whatnot. So it's not like the American trucks where it's a long nose sleeper cab. It's more of just like a, a kind of a day cab with maybe some sleeper options to it. But it makes it a lot easier to navigate some of these roads. That is a beautiful coastline. That is gorgeous. That's what's nice about these uh, kind of fictional landscapes. Uh, I've played games like this before where we drive buses and things around uh, islands and uh, kind of uh, made-up fantasy worlds, which are totally fine. I do not mind that at all, because <laughs> what would I know? You could say that this is, um, you know, uh, maybe a Poland or something like that, and I'd be like, oh, cool, this is Poland. Like, I, I don't know the difference. So it's really nice to see the beautiful landscape like that. That is nice. That is a good idea for a first tutorial mission like that, to drive you around the uh, coast like that. Now, I don't know what the uh, keys are or whatnot for uh, retarders. I don't know if there's... Uh, any of that on an automatic transmission, but a manual, of course, will give you a little bit more control, but it seems there is cruise control on this as well, so using that control wheel, we can do that. This is nice. I like that. This must be an empty uh, trailer, though. It doesn't seem to affect the acceleration or the uh, control of the truck at all, but maybe with heavier cargo, we'll be able to see something. So uh, I've seen different types of cargo based off of, like, uh, concrete barriers and... Uh, steel beams and things like that, so um, it does seem like there's a few options uh, for cargo aside from just box trailers. So if you're really into something more than just a box trailer, this this is definitely a good option for you. Beautiful little downtown area, nice. Just going to have to get used to driving in these tighter spaces. This is not my forte. All right, there we go. But every game's a little different. All right, so we are at our destination, which is a warehouse of some sort. So now what are we going to do? Park it? 
Oh, there we go. Parking a trailer. Accuracy. Oh! You actually get... Oh, and you can do automatic, too, if you're not as skilled at that. Okay. Our accuracy is 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. All right. Whoa, whoa, the brake is really slow. Okay, and attach or detach with Y. Mission complete. All right. I didn't turn the music off. I just turned it down, so it's kind of kind of lonely there. Easy, huh? Now what to do? Uh, you're free to explore the world of truck driver. Go find some clients who might have jobs for you to do. Oh, good. Wow, that was an easy tutorial. That was nice. Okay, maybe he'll explain that. By completing jobs, you'll earn money and experience, both of which you'll need to improve your performance. Oh, okay, so like XP. Maybe we can get different skills and things like that. Use money to purchase new trucks and parts from the garage. Nice. I'm looking forward to a new truck. I'm not sure if this has any real truck brands in it, but we'll see uh, soon enough. Use experience to level up passives you've unlocked. Leveling up passives will improve you, help you improve faster. Oh, that's cool. Uh, open the in-game menu. Open the in-game menu and navigate to skills or passive screen. All right. Uh, garage. Can't enter during the tutorial. Uh, that should be the in-game menu. Good luck. Uh, I don't see skills listed here anywhere. That's where the uh, in-game menu is, according to this key. Oh, it's actually a different key. Okay, there it is. Okay, so we have extra things to unlock. Fuel saving increase, wear and tear on tires. Okay, so there's different things, including skills. Cargo regular. Oh, okay, so there's different types of skills and things we can unlock. And then new missions. Go to Charlie Dover for your first assignment. All right. Okay, let's see if we can get to Charlie then. I don't know how to set that on the GPS. Uh, let's see. Go to Charlie Dover for your first assignment. Okay, so I guess we're already teaming up with Charlie. So this must be one of those uh, Elon Musk electric trucks. Now, keep in mind, I'm playing a development build way ahead of the actual release of the game. In fact, uh, today should be July 5th, 2019. So the game, uh, at the, as I'm playing this, um, or at least that's when you're watching this, this is a few weeks before that July 5th uh, video upload, and the game doesn't release for another, um, almost another month or more. So it, it will give them a lot of time to make changes based off of uh, player feedback and... Uh, you know, just pr things going on during the development build. So, of course, keep in mind that this is not the finished product. All right, I should have signaled there, too. But that's okay. I'm still kind of exploring the world and getting to see things. So now this feels more like Sweden. Before it felt like Germany. Now it feels like Sweden or Norway here with these beautiful mountains and the fjords and towns being built at the base of giant cliffs and things like that. Kind of cool. So it looks like we'll be able to buy uh, other drivers and things in this game. Like, we'll be able to hire people and buy different trucks and have them drive them. So that'll be kind of cool. Alright, so we'll take a left turn here and head up to Charlie Dover's place. Alright, let's get back into the truck. So yeah, the vehicle volume is set to uh, high as well, so it must just not be programmed in. But that's okay. That's usually not too distracting. So here we are at Charlie Dover's. You've unlocked the Emotion Driver Passive. Oh, okay. So let's see what that does. Let's stop here. Uh, let's see. Passives. Uh, needed to upgrade one. Receive a bonus percent for rewarded money. Oh, okay. So we get an extra percentage for every time we do that. So that's... Is that already... Oh, we need we need XP in order to unlock that. Okay. So it kind of provides a lot more incentive just than like an open world game. There's a little bit of a kind of like a progression to it. So that's all right. All right. Let's go over to Charlie then. And I think that's the job there. Though I see there's fish here, and there's a little thing there. Let's go and stop at the... Oh, here we are, jobs. We just got to get close to it. Ah, here we are. You're a new driver, huh? Let's see what you got. if you got what it takes. All right. Oi, new kid. Let's start with an easy job. I'm assuming you want me to go pick up the trailer of fish. It's probably a reefer. So this is definitely, definitely Norway. <laughs> Trailers out front take... It to my storage depot around the block. Okay. So that's probably the trailer there. That is an awfully weird trailer. He's got the uh, container loaded to the front of the truck like that. It kind of kind of seems like a weird shape and trailer for that. All right. Well, a beautiful little landscape, I must say. I love that. I wonder if there's there must be an in in game uh, day night cycle too. Okay, let's pick up this trailer. 
I'll have to increase the sensitivity of both my braking. So the way it works with the steering wheel is the brake also serves as the reverse. So as I'm holding the brake, it comes to a complete stop, and then the truck automatically goes into reverse too. So it would be nice to have some extra options to flip the truck into uh, reverse gear um, and do things like that. So hopefully when we get a manual transmission, we'll be able to do that. At least we're not hearing the obnoxious beep, beep, beep from the reverser, but uh, all right, there we go. And then, of course, when I'm reversing, in order to stop reversing, I have to tap the gas in order to... That, that becomes the brake then, so it kind of switches. All right, well, let's drive Charlie's uh, cargo over to his storage depot. I can really see console players being able to uh, play this a lot with a lot of functionality. One of the concerns always is, if a game is on console, is it easy to play with the controller then, which, you know, most consoles use? And in this case, I would say, yeah, this seems to be a game that would be easy to control with a with an actual like PlayStation or Xbox controller, just as easy as it might be with the steering wheel. If I was at a PC, I'd want a steering wheel, of course, because you're already sitting, and it makes it a little bit more re realistic and uh, a much more easier platform to do that. But if you're playing on um, an Xbox and you're on your couch, well, I could uh, I could see sitting back and, and enjoying that that way too. All right, let's go this way. Ooh. Alright, I thought I'd have the right of way because I was signaling right, but I guess not. I'm assuming we can also damage the trailer too, so we should uh, be on the lookout for that. We probably have to take a few wider turns. But every game's a little different into how the trailer and driving mechanics function. Just like this one being reverse. Alright, where is the... Where is? Where does he want me to park? Over there. Okay. I think I actually got hung up on something. That, uh... Yeah, that gate there. That, uh... There we go. We'll just drive straight in. That little uh, guardrail there is something that, that caught the top, top of the trailer. All right, so we're just going to slide in here like a glove. Park the trailer in the drop-off area. Okay, roger that. So we'll just come around here. And pull straight in. That should be good. And I wonder if we receive bonus XP for how accurate we de uh, deliver things. We'll see. So let's take a look. The trailer must be uh, off-centered a little bit. Okay, we can actually back that up. Let's try to straighten that out. So this is helpful, at least, to be able to drive from above in that uh, kind of that helicopter mode or whatnot, drone view. Bird's eye view at things. Okay, so now we're going to reverse a little bit and try to swing the trailer around. I actually should have went the other way. This trailer is very awkward. Like, look, look at the... Uh, the wheels towards the end. I don't think I've ever seen a trailer like this, actually. Where the uh, container is loaded onto a flat... This is really like a low boy. Which is kind of kind of a weird trailer that Charlie decided to purchase here for his uh, shipment of fish. But it matches the two trailers on the right side. So let me try to fix this a little bit more. Typically, uh, when I play other trucking games, I have, I have the ability to look out the window. Which also helps. This one doesn't have that at the moment. But it could be an added feature in the in the future. A future feature. All right, we're getting awfully close, aren't we? To the uh, edge of the water. Oh, very weird to not switch gears and just being using the pedals and such. This is much a much different experience. If you're new to trucking games, I'm assuming this will be easier for you, especially if you're uh, on console or something like that. Is you'll have a little bit better, um, kind of like a more blank slate. I'm I'm using skills from other games, which sometimes you have to unlearn in order to learn a new game. So now we should be a little bit better to s squeeze this in. So let's try that. This trailer is a lot longer than I thought it was. It actually hangs out so far I can't even see the back end of it. All right, let's try this again. Make Charlie proud. 60, 70, 80, 90. Come on, 100. Give me that 100. Yeah, we did it. Awesome. Yay, Charlie would be proud. Sweet. Not half bad. Come see me for more work. All right, that's cool. So hopefully we've unlocked some more jobs from Charlie. Well done. Looks like you're ready for some more work. Awesome. So I kind of like that we're interacting with characters too, not just getting money. So there's a little bit of uh, interaction to doing jobs. But also, we'll be able to use that money for buying our own stuff. So there's a little bit of... Uh, oh good, you've reached level 1 for cargo container skill. Yeah, the fact that there's kind of like uh, some extra stuff to it rather than just a driving sim is kind of nice. Makes Makes things a little different. All right, let's see what our next job is. I'll pull up here and come to a stop and see if something pops up. In the meantime, let's see if we can also uh, bring up our skill list. 
Uh, okay, so how exactly does this work? So we have 200 XP. If we get 250 XP, we get a bonus for things. Everything else is locked. So there's all these different bonuses here. <laughs> Stamina increased to stay awake longer by having coffee. That's great. Uh, green mango, all these different uh, colors and things. Oh, look at that. Missions 1 out of 2 for regular cargo or for container cargo. Actually, oh yeah, 1 out of 4 for the uh, each different level. Okay, so by completing different missions, you also unlock that. That's kind of cool. A lot of games now all have this kind of progression. They're almost like RPGs. And that is like a, a main thing now. If you think about it, any game such as like Red Dead Redemption or even like a Call of Duty multiplayer kind of has some sort of XP and progression to it. So it's a lot more than just, you know, play game, get money. All these games have some added features to it. Looks like we're about halfway on our sleep too. Um, and I see here on the, on the game there seems to be a lot of arrows pointing down, which I'm assuming are delivery points. Let's see if there's a new pickup point. I don't know if anybody else is going to offer us a job. Oh, here's missions here. Maybe we can set one of these on the GPS. No active missions. Okay. And no client to drive for. Well, I guess we're free to explore. Um, I think we'll just go... Let's go right then. Oh. Yeah, hard hard to use the steering wheel and the mouse at the same time. you got to, like, separate your hands. It'd be n I don't... There's probably a little control button to uh, look around with uh, from the cab, but I don't actually see that at the moment. It looks like Charlie has some more fish jobs for us, but let's go see what it's like to fuel up. Uh, there's a gas station to our left, so I'm assuming we pull up, hit a button, and it auto-refuels. But it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get some gas just in case we have a long haul. Okay. So up here on the left is the gas station. Wow, this is a really nicely done uh, map. Uh, okay, so I see a little blue marker there. I'm just going to swing out here. All right, sir. Oh, Land Rover. Then we just press Y to refuel. Oh, whoa. Some, sounds like someone's mowing the lawn. Okay. And then we probably uh, pay automatically like that. The game doesn't seem to have a parking brake. I'm not sure if there is one, but, so I kind of keep rolling when I do that. Wow, look at the price of gas. Premium is only 182 but that's per liter, and I don't even know what the currency is in this game, so it could be bars of gold for all I know. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I kind of cut that guy off. All right, let's go find some more jobs. Let's head up into the hills. Let's drive around as a, a bobtail a little bit. 50 kilometers is the speed limit here. be nice if the GPS actually showed that. I'd be a little bit more in tune with the uh, speed limit. So it didn't seem too much that that cargo affected our uh, ability to like a, our acceleration or anything like that, but it also seemed to be a lighter cargo container. We only drove like a few blocks. So let's try some of this like open ground driving. It's kind of like a county road that links the city probably to another small town, the coastal town down there. So far, so good. I wonder if there's a button for wipers too in rain. A lot to be seen, I think. That mountain over there. You see that little snow-capped mountain? That's like Mount Fuji or something like that. Cool. Seems like it. Yeah, we're doing like 70 now in a, six, uh, in a 50. Our, our truck really slows down fast over these hills. Alright, there's a place up here to sleep. We may as well get some shut-eye too. So this seems to be like a uh, truck stop. Just like a giant parking lot. Alright, let's get some sleep and then find a new job. And that, of course, is what you're doing in many of these... Uh, actually, a lot, all the trucking simulators that I've seen have some sort of a, a sleeping aspect to them. You know, there's like fatigue and a day-night cycle with uh, fuel management and things like that. So, uh, oh, we got to reverse a little bit. Oh, nice. There's like a little puddle of water there in the, uh, in the thing there. Sleep for four hours to restore stamina. Okay, so we're probably going to see nighttime driving. Engine not started. Okay, we got to... Uh, Oh, what was the key for that again? Was that pressing... Oh, if I just press down, it's a hotkey. Cool. So if I press down on the um, D-pad, it just automatically goes. All right, how do I turn on lights? Um, I don't know the button for that, but I know on the keyboard it's 1 and 2. So this must be regular lights, and that's high beams. Regular lights, high beams. Oh, but if I, if I turn off the high beams, it turns off my lights. Oh, boy. All right, let's find a job then. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to the uh, menu so I can get there by pressing this. And then can I set a point on the GPS? It's actually easier to do with the mouse. 
So it looks like there's Pine Creek around. That looks to be like a uh, lumber mill. So we might be able to swing over that way. So there's w one job there. One job there. Yellow means, uh, I don't know if we've unlocked some of these other trailers. Some of these might be locked, but I see we can haul for the, uh, there seems to be a power plant there. Seems to be like a clothing store. Um, maybe we can haul fuels there. Oh, there's a cool construction site. Maybe we can haul some heavy cargo from that location. Nice. All right, let's go to all the way to Pine Creek then. We'll place a, a waypoint on that. I can also use the D-pad to look around too, but it's just a little easier with the mouse. So let's try and find a new a new job. I'll just sneak across here. All right. Yeah, I think the game would be a little bit more immersive if we had a, a few more diesel sounds. Might be a problem on my end, but I'm, I mean, obviously it's a basic feature to be able to hear the engine. And now we're going on to the open highway. So this is really nice. Probably like a 90 kilometer limit here. So we're looking to go to, I can't remember the, the city name. Skill increased in level. You've reached level one for safe driver skill. All right, well, I haven't hit anything yet. That's good. I've certainly been over the line and bumped into that gate, but I guess I've done worse things. Well, the landscape certainly is beautiful. The time seems to... Oh, I think it's 151... Oh, that's the time that it gets here. Oh, the time is 38 uh, minutes after midnight. Okay, so it's like uh, 1240 in the morning. Okay, so there is a day-night cycle. And uh, nighttime seems to be rather bright, which is nice. Because sometimes in these games it gets a little dark and it, that can be a little hard to see. And I'll just assume the speed limit here is 90. I'm not paying attention too much to the to the speed limit. Let's see if I can look out the Ooh. mouse is very sensitive here. I'd like to be able to bind the D-pad to my actual vision. That would be a little bit more helpful. So I'm assuming we're not going for the port. So this is the exit for that soon. Definitely some uh, areas of Germany, inspiration from Germany here. Definitely some Scandinavian influence. It's kind of nice that they're going for like a general Europe feel. So that way the game isn't uh, too overly large. Helps to, uh, you know, kind of promote that the game is a little bit more um, homely, I guess. It feels like, it, for example, the, the best example I can give is like Grand Theft Auto. If you're playing in Grand Theft Auto, uh, it's an island. You know, it's kind of like an island city. Even though everything is uh, kind of supposed to be uh, this uh, big world where everything's different. It's essentially just one city connected by different kind of biomes. And this kind of has that same feel. So that's really nice. Okay, Pine Creek is up here to the right, so I assume that's where we're going. A giant wind turbine there, looking beautiful. That thing is massive. That must be powering the entire town. Oh, there we go. Wow, our truck, if I let go of the gas, pretty much comes to an immediate stop, so there's some sort of braking to that, too, by letting go of the gas. So that's helpful. This is a much more casual experience than a, quote, simulator. Though it simulates driving a truck, it's not as simulator as a simulator would be. Oh, cool. So now we get to drive off-road a little bit. So now we're going down into a logging camp. That's going to be cool. You can hear all the crickets and wind blowing. Hmm. And I can also hear the truck uh, spouting off with a little bit of... Uh, air from time to time. Oh, cool. Lumber mill looks like it's functional. So it's kind of nice now that there's an open world uh, simulator at this point. Like, you can, we can do whatever we want. So after helping out Charlie, we can basically show up here and do something. So I'm assuming we just pull over here to the job and then that's that. There we go. Well, let's haul some lumber or some logs. I'm a big fan of that. Sven Nordland. Well, I was right about Scandinavia. I have a job for you, but I'd rather do it my... Oh, sorry. I have a job for you, but I'd rather just do it myself. Uh, okay. Requirements. Complete uh, Iona Furno's third job. Oh, so there's some sort of like... Um, this is locked. Okay. Let me just check and make sure. Oh, I want to be able to do whatever I'd like. Okay, let's go back to the map then. So we can drive around and check these out, but apparently we have to do some sort of thing in progression. However, how am I supposed to know that? 
Oh, I see. Okay. So we have to complete Audrey Funar's... Oh, wait, no. It's the I Iona Funar. Oh, okay. They must be married. So the jobs are on the right side. So we have... Mar I didn't see that before. Mary O'Sullivan, David Sung, Sven Nordland, Ivona Funar, and Andre Funar, and then Charlie Dover. So it looks like we've got fishing, construction, or actually that's probably mining. So we have fishing, mining, uh, power plant... And then what was the other job? There was some sort of a... Oh, this is like a clothing or a textile mill. And then it uh, looks like there was a construction site around here somewhere. So apparently we, we just got to go back to Charlie for more. Maybe he's the only one that's been unlocked. So I guess we'll uh, drive back there. I wonder if there's a way to fast travel now that we've been there. Is there a way to... Um, if I place a waypoint... Let's see if we can just fast travel. Is there a way to, to do that? I'm pressing A. doesn't seem... doesn't seem to pop up but it probably is assigned okay so in order to unlock some of these other missions we do have to complete things in order okay that's a little a little confusing there but i think we've got it now so let's go on to our next job then we'll head back there and haul another one for a uh, good old charlie let's get it done all right here we are back at charlie's place so we should be able to find another job now so i didn't know that you actually had to go kind of like an order. I wish that things were a little bit more open, but I guess I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not angry about it. I'm just saying. All right, let's roll in here and see if we got, uh, first of all, can we just pull up here? Seems like Charlie might have just another regular job for us. Uh, you're the new driver. Okay, we did that already. You must complete all other missions for the client. Well, we did do that. Uh, let's see. Exploring the area. Maybe this is different. Okay, kid, need to pick up a trailer for me. Okay. Maybe this is uh, different than the tutorial mission that we were given a second ago. Oh, yeah, it must be, because this is not here anymore. Oh, okay, there's a small inn near the lighthouse just outside of town. Okay. Oh, the camera's going all crazy. Oh, it seems like it constantly is trying to stay behind the truck. So I'm fighting that. Okay, so send information from the sat-nav. Oh, I thought this went all the way around. All right, go to the inn near the lighthouse. Okay. So we'll go do that then. I like the overhead view. That really is a nice thing for uh, backing these trailers in into some sort of uh, difficult positions. I hope the game offers some more difficult um, reversing options, you know, like to get extra XP or something like that. That might be something in the future. However, the fact that you can just pull in and drop it off is nice too. You can go on to the next job. All right, go to the end near the lighthouse. At least it's no longer uh, nighttime. It's about uh, 8 in the morning. Is that, or is that 6? 6. Okay. All right, let's go over and pick up our first cargo then for uh, Charlie. I guess our, our first main mission. So the other one must have just kind of been an introduction to missions, and this is now like one of one of three jobs. So we have to complete. looks like everybody offers three jobs for like basic starting, and then there seems to be like f uh, like five to six, seven characters or so. So it seems like we'll have to do each one of those jobs to unlock skills, and then I'm assuming we'll probably be able to do some sort of free open world thing, because when the story comes to an end, it's not like the game's just going to end. There must be something to continue. Man, I love this little... Oh, good. We're now level one for a driver's skill. Awesome. You have reached level one for that skill. So it seemed to give me that for free. Unlock something new. Green Mango is now available for purchase at the store. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm kind of getting hungry. Okay, so here's the inn. Oh, this is beautiful. This is really nice. This is good. I like this. I would love to stay at this inn. That's beautiful to see a little lighthouse and to have a little cafe near it. Oh, this is what we're going to pick up. Okay, the reefer here. Let's take a look at this trailer. What, is it, uh, what does it say here? Dover Baby? What does that say? What does this guy's trailer say? Baby, baby Eel? He has a semi-trailer of baby eels just sitting at the inn. <laughs> How many people are coming to this inn and eating baby eels that there needs to be a semi-trailer reefer full? That is crazy. There's people walking all around this place. This isn't like... We're not talking about like a Hilton or like a, uh, a Madison or something like that downtown. This is just like a little inn. <laughs> that's hilarious. All right, clearly I'm going to have to back up and then readjust, but that's okay. I wanted to take a look. The trailers look really nice. That definitely is a European-style uh, refrigerated trailer, so that's kind of nice. I do like that. All right, let's back this up a little. Oh, that is, that is gorgeous. Is there a way to take screenshots? I'm going to just... I, w I want to be able to disable the HUD and take a screenshot. That is beautiful. Uh, there's, uh, hopefully there's a mode for that, because, of course, in Xbox and uh, PlayStation, you can use photo share mode uh, to take some screenshots. If you can disable the HUD, that's going to be just perfect. 
All right, let's back it up a little bit. I also like how you see people walking around these places rather than just like sidewalks at random. People are also walking around like uh, businesses and such. And uh, that's kind of neat. All right, let's back her in then. Connect trailer. And let's get rolling. All right, Charlie will tell us where we need to go next. Just bring it over here. Okay, so he's just... It's an empty trailer, essentially, I'm assuming. That he finished the delivery and then somebody didn't bring it back or whatnot. If you get here quick enough, I'll give you extra cash. Okay. I think we bumped into a car there. It's hard for me to see without using the... Uh, sounds like a challenge you're on. We got five minutes to get there. It's hard to see with the, you know, having to use the mouse. So maybe track IR would be a good thing for, um, you know, for PC. But I don't know if that's available for consoles or whatnot. Oh, I forgot also. I'm so used to other games. There we go. Alright, so I love driving around this world. I like the just kind of the go get them jobs. You know, just go pick this up and bring it back. Nice. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> That's actually a thing we need to have in a game too, like the ability to like have to buy food and stuff. I want to be able to uh, actually. Uh, it'd be nice in a game if there was a way for us to like uh, upgrade our actual HQ with things inside, you know, computers and. Uh, you know, like a bed and to decorate and do different things for a custom garage too. Like uh, do all the sort, all sorts of different things on the interior. That'd be kind of nice. But those are just dreams for the future. And this game, of course, could get up updates for that kind of thing. So that my hopes are high. Charlie, I don't know where you want your trailer, bud. I see your little symbol over here. Is this where you want it? Oh, okay, over here in the corner. All right. How much time do we have left? The time disappeared. I'm not late, am I? All right, here we go. We'll just pull in right here. This trailer seems to be a lot shorter, so it's much more easier to manage than that weird container trailer. And boom, we're good. Perfect. And we're done. Thanks. I've proven the trust with cargo. I really like to do business with you more often. Awesome. Ooh, look at that beautiful sight. I love that. Looks like we're getting the hang of it. We sure are. I don't want to go over the edge. Very nice. All right, let's take a look at the truck here. Yeah, that's nice. Very cool. Obviously based off of like, it looks like a Mercedes, but it handles like a Scania. So that's kind of cool. Skill is increased in level. I like that. The fact that we can do jobs and get little extra things other than cash on the side is nice. wonder how much there, uh, what's to offer in the garage. You've reached level one for cargo and refrigeration skill. All right, let's see if there's a, is there a, yeah, there's a garage, right? We can buy trucks here. Uh, you sure you want to go to the nearest garage? Mission progress will be canceled. Oh, okay. Garage is actually like a like a resting area for us. So I don't see any uh, I don't see any like uh, dealerships or anything around here. Let's back up before we go over the edge. Don't want to go too far. There we go. So it seems like we can do some more jobs for Charlie and get those done. I just wish there was a little bit more uh, sound at the moment. I'm sure that'll be fixed, so please ignore that, because that's that's a basic no-duh <laughs> that the developers will obviously have ready in time. I like this one. This is this is a very casual experience. I'm, I'm not as skilled when it comes to playing the more serious simulators, so this just kind of being a casual, fun, do-whatever kind of thing is nice. Going the distance. Well, we... Or, hmm, that's interesting. Before it was called Exploring the City, but I wonder why it offers three. But then they disappear. Maybe, it, I don't I don't know why it does that. You're the new driver, let's see if you, well, Charlie, we've already spoken before, sir. Ready for the next job. All right, what is it? New customers, new places to go. All right, fair enough. Great. Uh, let's see, take a trailer to a new client in Vlecke for me. Oh, okay, so we probably have to pick it up here, right? Let's uh, back up a little bit. Go to Charlie's storage area. Oh, no, so it's up ahead. So this must be Charlie's, like, uh, main warehouse where the intake is for all the fish, and then there's a storage area somewhere else in town. So that's kind of cool. All right, so let's go pick up some more cargo. Well, the, the world is certainly very detailed, and I like that because this uh, is kind of more based on, you know, like... M not major city driving, but like kind of, you know, bigger village driving. And then the 
uh, roads between them. So there's a lot of detail here. Trash on the side, a lot of containers and things sitting around. It's very, very detailed. All right, now where's the uh, trailer at there, Charlie? Oh, that blue one, I'm assuming. The shipment of oysters. Oh, what? They're, they want an entire oyster party for a tech company? That's crazy. Google's having a party. All right. Let's back this thing up. Whatever floats their boat, I've never shipped that many oysters before. Okay. Well, luckily the truck does seem to reverse very slowly, so that's, you know, at least you don't go overboard with that. And what does that say on the side? Dover Oysters. Okay. Wow, so he's got a trailer for each type of cargo that he's hauling, or that he wants us to haul. Luckily you don't have to be spot on. I'm assuming it's, uh, again, just kind of more simplified for... Uh, consoles and such, and that's good. It is more of a casual experience, and I don't think that's a bad thing at all. Just like with certain flight simulator games, there are some that are very detailed where you have to worry about, uh, you know, mixtures and things like that of um, oil and, f you know, air fuel mixtures and such. And then there's others where you just kind of casually drive around. I right, bumped into a car there. I, I can't really reach my mouse when I turn the wheel like that, so I hope there's some sort of way to be able to I didn't see any options where the, uh, if you signal, like for example, if you're signaling right that the driver looks left or something like that beforehand, which would be, make it a little easier, but that's okay. At least we didn't take any damage or anything like that. And uh, now we get to drive on this beautiful coastal road. Let's take a look from third person. Well, maybe not that far third person. This is good. There we go. Yeah, that detail is... Certainly there. All right, there we go. All right, we'll head back into the uh, the cockpit now. So if you're trying to play like a simulator, you certainly can do that. And then third person, it's a little easier. Also, this area on the left is not a mine, but it's a construction zone. So I was right about that in being a uh, construction the first time. And then uh, there seems to also be a crane around here too. So it is nice that there are jobs that will be heavy cargo, like construction equipment, and that there's going to be other cargo that requires like you know, refrigerator and, uh, you know, like uh, logs and uh, light box trailers for clothing, that kind of thing. So there's a big variety of cargo. So that's certainly a welcome sight. All right, let's drive up to uh, Vlecki then. Okay. The truck certainly handles nicely. And I like how the uh, the roads don't feel too choppy. They they don't feel like they're a bunch of little polygons or squares. It feels like a somewhat smooth road surface. And then uh, as you kind of hit uh, different parts of the road, there are bumps and potholes and such. Um, I'm the wheel I'm using does also provide some force feedback, but it's more like the force increases the further I turn to the side. So I'm not getting any sort of uh, force feedback on the wheel as I drive over bumps or you know like if we if we happen to hit an expansion joint or something from a road. Uh, go f go, you know the feeling like when you drive over a bridge and then you go to the other side and it ki you kind of feel that bump as you go across. I'm not feeling any of that, but the cars certainly are definitely nicely modeled too. That looks like a Passat in front of us. I've also seen uh, Range Rovers before, and uh, kind of a mix of that looked to be like a Camry there. So it seems like a mix of American cars and foreign imports, European cars. That right there just kind of look like a standard like a. Uh, Chevy Aveo or like a Matrix or something like that. Speed limit here must be like 50, so that's why this guy's doing like 45. Well, it's similar to other games' traffic. That's definitely uh, kind of how it goes sometimes. You're stuck behind somebody when you're trying to go. But the uh, landscape here is absolutely beautiful. And I like this a lot because uh, I'm really a big fan of these kind of mountainous terrains where you're driving through the mountains and thick woods in order to get to cities. And this definitely has a lot of that. Another thing I'd like to see in uh, future trucking games too is if, for example, you go to a port or a train station where some cargo has to be loaded onto a trailer, that'd be nice. Keep it moving, ma'am. Doing 20, 24 to 30. That, that right there. You forfeited your vehicle, ma'am. <laughs> That's all I can do. But yes, it would be nice to drive a flatbed trailer, like for example, to a construction site and then see them uh, loaded up. Uh, it'd be nice to haul a blank trailer or something empty and then actually see it loaded. Uh, for example, if you go to a port with a container, 
uh, and then drop off the container. A crane comes down, picks it up, and then you're driving around with a, essentially a flatbed or an empty trailer. So that's kind of cool. AI in this game annoys me just like it does in all the others. The people <laughs> do not want to drive. Nobody wants to go. Everybody wants to do 10 under the speed limit, and then they're just, everybody's just into days. So I got pl I got to plow them out of the way. I need a bull bar on this thing to get them out of the way. I can't deal with that. Drives me crazy. All right, so we're going to the tech company now. And this is definitely a Swedish-style highway here, but I've also seen some elements of German and uh, lo what looked to be like a kind of a French part of that town before. I am absolutely basing out on that. Wow, okay. I guess we're... <laughs> I put that pedal all the way to the ground, and we did not stop. But we also didn't get a ticket for going through, so okay. I guess we got a freebie. We have that emergency delivery to do. Now, I'm assuming, too, in this game, if fatigue reaches zero, we probably will end up getting a fine or something like that for driving uh, while being tired. And I think in, uh, for example, Euro Truck and ATS, American Truck Simulator, the uh, driver will doze off, like he'll close his eyes, and that's kind of a, like, it'll, uh, like, block your vision so you could crash. So hopefully that's not something we do here. Well, again, this is a more casual experience, so I think, you know, kind of bumping into things and... and uh, Going into the wall and stuff is more possible because of how you could drive with a controller. And that's kind of nice. It is a little bit more forgiving here. And I love these mountain views. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. Beautiful. Like we're in Switzerland now or something. Or Austria. Just amazing. Okay. Well, we're making our way now to the final destination there. It's uh, about uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Time seems to go by. We're almost here now. I see this city mark. Oh, and there's the low stamina marker. Uh, resting area soon. Active missions will fail when you f fall asleep driving. Oh, really? So you need to make sure that you go into a mission probably uh, either A, fully rested, or B, with on the route with a, some sort of a plan to actually make a stop and sleep. All right, so if you fall asleep, you fail. That's it. Okay. So it may as well be the fuel bar. Once you run out of gas, it's over. Okay, let's make a delivery here. This is certainly like kind of a... French style uh, building there with some elevated homes like that in the neighborhood. Though also, right there, boom, seems to be like a uh, like a Swiss cabin or something like that. This is the tech party. All right, where's the trailer parking going? Oh, over here. Oh, well, I guessed it. But now we're gonna have to back it up in there, and that's gonna be a little troublesome. There's not a lot of room here to wiggle. Let's see if we can pull it right in. Okay, we're gonna back back out a little bit. Whoa, 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 truck. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so let's straighten the truck out. Best we can. And reverse it in. So there is a little bit of uh, parking challenge. That's kind of fun. There is a little bit of element to delivering the trailers. Some of these places don't have, like, a loading dock. But this certainly is, like, a nice area to park this for offloading in the front since it is a big trailer. There we go. And we're all done. Okay, job's done. Looks awfully dead for a party. Guys just called me. He wanted 100 oysters, not 100 cases of oysters. Oh, are you kidding me? Do you need me to take them back to you? No, it looks like they'll be eating oysters for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be a big meal. 100 cases, that's probably like, let's say it. 10,000 oysters versus 100. Wow. All right, guys, that is it for my first look at Truck Driver, a game that uh, surprises me in some interesting ways. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing how this game develops, and I think I'm actually going to be playing this more on live streamers or whatnot. Good game to kind of relax and chill with, a nice casual atmosphere, and you know, I'm not the best player in the world, so if you're kind of wanting to kind of get into these but you're not so serious about this, this might be a good game to check out and not feel intimidated by all the, oh, like, oh, what kind of an engine do I need? Do I have to shift? Like... If you just want to drive, it's perfect. So I'll see you all next time for more. Thank you very much for uh, subscribing and being here. You're all fantastic. I'll see you soon. Goodbye, everyone. Take care. And thanks to the folks at Truck Driver for letting me check it out. Again, available on PC, Xbox One, and PS4 on uh, September 19th for consoles, November 19th for PC. You all take care. I'll see you soon. Thanks for your support.